Ooh. Hello, welcome to Heroes of My Magic, Free Shadow of Death, Spectre of Power. Okay, Sandro's first attempt at conquering Antagorich has failed. However, he is not defeated. Sandro will pull together several groups of people and start the first rumblings of war that will engulf all of Antagorich. This guy just don't quit. Poison fit for a king. Capture heart castle and leave the file of poison to win the scenario. However, if Sandro is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Heroes are limited to level 10, but Sandro and three of his comrades will carry their experience, skills, and spells onto the next scenario. So, I already knew what I was going to pick here, because I could see in my peripheral vision as I was reading the top text here, that there was a boot of speed. So, this, it doesn't matter. There could be 2,000 zombies. 10 billion gold boots of speed is being picked. Hello there, Jack. How's it going? What's up, Death Knight? Hard difficulty. Ah. Lord Hart has agreed to take the vial of poison to King Griffinheart. All I must do is leave the vial in Hart's castle after I raid it. Fortunately for me, he has a problem with overpopulation. So I will add his wasted peasants to my own ranks. This will be a good day for harvesting skeletons. <laughs> so, what was the real backfire for Sandro then? I may have missed it, if anyone knows. Like, why... We beat him, but here he is, just back at it again. I guess uh, this is his comeback, I suppose. Sometimes Deja Lords will allow other creatures to move into an area under their control and then slaughter them to resurrect additional undead armies. However, this particular air that's clever, yeah. However, this particular air that reminds me, I think there's a Stargate episode where something like that happens. Where the bad guys or something like that let sort of like humanity populate. I think no, that's um that's the Wraiths, isn't it? That's Stargate Atlantis. That's what the Wraiths do. Because they feed they're like vampires, they feed off the the humans. So they let them sort of like populate areas and then they come and coal them, so to speak. Uh, however, this particular area has been neglected by Deja Lords and now needs to be cleared out for you to get through to Lord Castle's hard Hearts Castle. This is the time when you wish you had the armor of the Dead King. Grinding your teeth. Yeah, the armor of the Dead King. Is that the one or is it the cloak? I think it's the cloak that was the one that I wanted. I want the cloak. It gives me those damn uh, happy liches that were so fantastic. All right, grinding your teeth. You set about raising armies. This is the old-fashioned way. So the last sort of campaign we did was a massive one basically is the biggest one has all these different characters I get the feeling that maybe Sandro does keep his stats all the way through this so it is really important to get good abilities so we're gonna go through the painful process of making sure he definitely gets good stuff that I like because I think I think there's only like four levels to this campaign but he's probably gonna keep those abilities all the way through so we don't have to worry about them resetting let's just do a restart here so one two two necromancy sorcery Yeah, one, two, two. Necromancer sorcery. Ah, there we go. What will be with heroes after this campaign? There's still the Hota campaign to do, which I think is what a lot of people are looking forward to as well. So that's what I'll move on to after this, because this will be officially all of the Heroes of Might Magic 3 stuff done, other than Hota. Okay, let's go into the base. We've got several bases. Uh, you've got basic necromancy. You've got vampire lords, so you're okay. So we'll just go greed again. Obviously, you get mage guild here. Slow. Lightning bolt, very good. Spend our money on those mage guilds. And go stuff after that. So you've got an easy answer here. Could have gone for Tavern, I suppose, to give me an extra hero. I don't even think I need that. I think I'll get a Tavern maybe next turn. Or not. Nah, don't worry about it. Just, just gather him up now. It's got boost of speed, so it's not going to be too bad. Mm. 
Mm. Try not to use any mana if I can get away with it. Just let the Vampire Lords tank. They're going to get a double turn next turn. So I might actually cast slow on them. Because I know what they're setting up for. I've seen the computer do it before. Yeah, you don't get your double turn now that you're slow. Good lad. Didn't really want to use any mana, but... Right. Important moment here. Eagle Eye. They do that deliberately, don't they? It's always spells and abilities that you just clearly won't need or want. That one skeleton resurrection. Sandro. Oh, Sandro. You're a shell of your former self. Let's get those necromancy amplifiers in. So. Increase the necromancy skill of all heroes you control with the necromancy skill by 10%. So that's an extra 30% towards your basic necromancy, which is 10%. Okay. Does that mean it's that 13%? I always get a bit mixed up on that. Does he have 40% necromancy? Or does he have... 13% necromancy. 13.67. I guess I'll just do this with Sandro, even though I could get other heroes. Maybe we'll get them next turn. Those um, resource silos would be very nice. That's free wood and lumber a day. As free wood and free wood and ore. As per the agreement, Lord Hart has recently left for maneuvers farther into Arafian territory. He has taken most of the knights and clerics with him, but lost, left a few to guard the castles. He decided it would be best to send out scouts and find out exactly what force he left. Oh, okay. So suggesting that I should get a tavern, is it now? Well, I can't get taverns anywhere else. Why only one hero? Nah, I should go more than one hero. I should. Just for scouting. But Sandro's going to have to look at the whole map anyway, because he's going to be going around picking everything up, isn't he? We've got 12 skeletons that time, so maybe it is 40% necromancy or something. In total. Hmm. I should upgrade them, actually, and get better skeletons, but... Who's got time for that? The dwarves! Try my luck. Hey, it worked. That's nice. Hmm, I was worried I might lose one there. I'm sure I can do this without losing anything. If I want a min-max. Oh! Okay. I thought I left it... No, I didn't. Right, so he gets five. Two, four, five. I put the skeletons too far forward. 
two, four, five. So two, four, five, two, four, five. So you've got to be like right here. Ah, that's all right. Free skeletons, fine. This is the part that everyone likes the most, isn't it? Vampire Lords. I normally just go for the big creature, but yeah. People just love the vampire lords carrying and being broken. Essentially invincible. Especially with the more stats you get. They still feel a little bit vulnerable, but 40 health is a decent chunk when you think about it. 40 health for a, a lower tier character. So if you had like 20 or 30 health, it would be much harder to pull that sort of stuff off. But 40 health makes it much harder to sort of bring down. Okay, Eagle Eye. Ah, thank you. We got we got the winner. City Halls. Will I ever play Hom 4? Uh, or 5? It's a possibility, but I don't know if it'll be straight after this. I might move on to like Dark Souls 3, and then when I'm done with Dark Souls 3, maybe I do... Heroes Might Magic 4. I don't know if I'm going to truly commit to Heroes Might Magic 4. I know I Heroes Might Magic 5 is my favourite one, but... Hmm, I'm not sure if this fight is worth it. It's doable, but... I don't think it's worth the whole... Because this is why I'm not, I'm not too keen on all these combats. I'm going to rectify my mistake and get the Cursed Temple instead first. So I've got more skeletons in each base. No. They're f yeah, you pay for them. I'm not paying for that. I still haven't got those heroes though, have I? I can't really, because I don't have the resources for it. Or oh, I could, but I want those resources going towards other things. Lord Hart has decided to play a little nastier than you anticipated. He has left four capable heroes to guard his castles. The pompous prig. This will make things harder, not to mention the troops he reinforced the garrison with. Now you have to go through them too, but this does not hinder your plans. Once on the Arafian side, you will be free to reap the precious peasants who do his farming and menial chores. To you, they are skeletons. I just don't know it yet. So is this sort of like the story that tells how Lord Hart becomes the betrayer? Because he's supposed to betray, isn't he? The Arafians. At least I think so. So this is like the story leading up to that. Let's just do it. These are lesser units anyway. Screw it. Hello, Tillum. Try Hom 7. Hom 6 was okay. I played a decent chunk of that. I'm, pretty, I'm not sure if I did every campaign level on that, but I did a lot of it. just got all of his health back. Hmm. I don't normally pick luck, and I wouldn't pick it unless I had to, but you could certainly see the advantage of luck with vampire lords. 
Well, we got a good start here. Should really just fight those. I'm just gonna start accepting these. I've got all, I've got impatient already. I can't be having every little fight. I haven't got time for that. Just get me maybe in a state. If I get in a state and just go pure vampires. And then upgraded vampires. Blair. I don't know. It's nice to have the upgraded skeletons, but I shouldn't leave 60 behind just because I can get upgraded skeletons from fights. It's fine. Oh, okay. This interests me, okay. Normally, I'd always pick air magic, but I've had experiences in the past where I barely ever use air magic, really. You could get haste, I suppose. And use it on your vampires. We know that earth magic is 100%. What would you take otherwise? I think it's still worth taking. Hmm. But I'm not sure how much... how. I mean, you, you do use air magic. I'm just not sure just how much of it I truly use. Would I be interested to try a short and fun TD custom? Yeah. What is it called? High phaser. There's some fat loot over here. Night Stalker TD. I think that's on my list. Let's have a look. Probably on my list. No. I don't think it is actually on my list. Okay, fair enough. Sounds familiar though. All custom games are on my list, yeah. To some degree that is the truth. Do you even bother getting dragons in this? I mean, it's not like the, the big dragons are that bad because they've got super fast movement speed, so it gives you a first turn. You just... You could just go pure vampire lords. Much like I sort of go one type of unit. It's like, oh, I'll go straight for the dragons. I'll go straight for the uh, archangel. I'll go straight for the cyclopses or something. Even the slow one still gets his turn. Oh, 
Oh, that's mean. They're, they're bullying my skeletons. Yeah, I guess vampire lords are pretty crazy as well, because nothing can retaliate first, is there? Stalker TD to the list, then, shall we? Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? But that looks like that's more what we're talking about. That looks light and fluffy. That's what I call light and fluffy. Nick needs to take a notice of that. When Nick gets here, if he gets here, show him that and then tell him that's what light and fluffy means. I'm serious, by the way. I'm dead serious. I'm not even joking. So far, the campaign is going well. Oh, thanks. I guess I'm doing a good job if it likes the campaign. Plenty of creatures fight too for now. I need to become skeletons in the towns are beginning to shape up into some fine cities. Confident that this little excursion shall go as smoothly as you plan. You send out messengers to both the dungeon overlords and the Kriegans. They should not miss out on your plan to take over Raffia. After all, they too have some brute strength that can be used to cover. This guy, you know, Sandra, he doesn't really have much of a moral compass, does he? Comes across as a bit of a dick. What? Jabated? See if it gives me the same thing again. Alright, now another test. See if I wait a week or the next day. No, I still get the same thing. Looking good, Sandro. You're coming along. He is coming along a little bit, isn't he? You know what? Screw these other heroes. It's all about Sandro, baby. Sandro is king. Maybe I was being true. I'm not going to get another hero. He's got to visit everywhere anyway. Let's face it. I'll try and keep the uh, spell power and knowledge roughly similar. That's all we want. We just want upgraded estate. And then Mage Guild. Although, yeah. I mean, it's, these are good. Liches are good. Black Knights are good. Dragon Vault is good. I think some people think Black Knights are bad. I don't. I think they're pretty amazing, really. They're tanky as all hell. And they do good damage. What about the physics guild? That's a different game entirely. As long as I'm not losing vampire lords. got some gates here cushioning the uh, computer away. Oh, still not losing my vampires. Now I talk to... Interesting. I go up here to try to debate them up there and they come down anyway because I wanted them to come down. 
Jesus, they move so fast. Oh, hello, guys. Still going to be able to reach me, but he might slow the others down. I don't know. Let's fight down here. Let's not have everyone on the Vampire Lords. His number's going to go too low soon. Yeah, I think he's gone too low for me to realistically do this. They are tough. Credit where it's due. the only way so if he gets surrounded but you can uh, he's slowly losing life though yeah he won't do it close it's the idea but he won't do that I could get some uh, skeletons from here maybe Thing actually, sorry. Before I forget, let's just add another win. So I was one loss more than wins in total. Feels bad. They actually want to fight him. See, I never really played with the Vampire Lords that much, even though I knew that they're supposed to be really good, so this is like my chance to do it. Just need a bit more numbers and a bit more... maybe attack. Because he'll do more damage or more attack. Animate Dead would be pretty crazy with him as well. His number's getting too low there. I need to go back round to my bases, get my vampires. Clearly not strong enough. This is where I can get the hero. There's a one guy called Demo here. There's always another Minotaur, isn't there? There's always another Minotaur. Uh, 
Uh, this guy doesn't look like a vampire. I don't know what does. Oh, we got Animate Dead, though. Mulling over the events of the past and looking forward, t looking towards the future, you slowly sip an exquisite goblet of wine. Your lips would curl into a snide smile, if you had any left, that is. Life without flesh is quite comfortable, actually. Don't worry about mosquito bites, foot blisters, or coarse sheets. Many discomforts, such as cold and heat, are no longer a concern. And it's such bliss to be over oblivious to the foul stench of sweating working falls the aroma of death dry and comfortable surrounds you like the warm shroud pulling your thoughts back to the plan shattered by it, foolish twits you abruptly grasp the goblet and hurl it towards the wall sending blood splattering your rage towards craig hack gem yog and that snippet jello is not easy to control. Who would have thought two barbarians would de suddenly develop a conscience? Not to mention a boy ranger and a foreign druid actually gathering together the resources to build an army large enough to defeat yours. You slowly calm yourself with the realization that these oversights no longer matter. The king will die and it will all be at the hand of one of his own. The thoughts warm your frigid soul and fuels the fire throughout the night. No. No oh, pigs. I really do just go straight for those mage gear. I'm not building anything else. I quite like that actually. It could that could really work in my favour. I've got a bit too much gold, but that's always going to be transferred, I think. Free bases isn't terrible transfer rate, but it ain't great. Just vampires. And then get those mage guilds up so Sandro can do what he needs to do. Ah, hello. Oh, wow. Here I am with like seven vampire lords, clearing quite a lot. What am I going to do when I've got that many? We don't really want any other units, do we? We don't even want skeletons because the skeletons are sly. We need to get upgraded skeletons if we're going to have any. So this base needs to have an upgraded. I should upload home free on YouTube. That's a good idea. If only I did that. Should be able to recruit as well from a crypt. You go to a crypt to recruit. I'll lose the vampires, fine. I'm gonna have enough. I just wanna play as Sandro. It's a shame that if they got six movement speed, that'd be pretty good. They're quite sluggish, though. Right. Um. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I don't see a trading post anywhere near. I'm going to get my mage... No, he can't even learn mage guild level 5, so what are you talking about? And he's got animate dead. You don't need anything else, really. Apart from earth magic. Let's just go around and clear stuff up. I'll just buy these. So this guy can clear some rubbish. Send him off to get some resources. But I don't really want to use other heroes. I just want Sandro. I just want Sandro. All I want for Christmas is Sandro.
I'm back. What is it with you trying to give me archery? Oh no. All my strong skeletons. Did I upgrade them? I don't even know now. I thought I did, yeah, and I split them up. They must have all got killed. Oh, look who gets earth magic. Your scouting parties recruited three messengers carrying pleas for assistance to Lord Hart. If you do not capture any other messengers you, who may have eluded you, Lord Hart will return here before the appointed time. Seeing as I'm not under any threat, I think I can go with my strategy, which is to just save resources purely for the purpose of leveling up mage guilds. But I really need to get Sandro... He's only got three levels. If we could get him expert wisdom. At least he's got advanced wisdom, but if he got expert wisdom, that would be the dream. But how do we do that other than just be lucky? Which is a shame. It's just got to depend on luck. Because then he can benefit from all of these mage guilds. What's the benefit of upgrading mage guild? Spells? Potentially very powerful spells. Game breaking spells. Oh, I'm so close to the estate. And it's day seven. It's all white to be a white. Aha. Uh -huh. Are those four bases all there? All in the same location? All snuggled up. I may as well just keep buying the same bloody units. I've got nothing else to spend my gold on other than this. Oh, you carry over three comrades, don't you, to the next level. Uh, I don't even care that much. Again, Sandra's just going to get all the love. I've done this in the past where I've had to put lots of effort into all the heroes, and it's just not worth all the stress. Faffing about. Just play the ball. Sandra's going to do everything anyway. <gasps> i got expert wisdom. My plan is coming through. Yeesh. That trade. Much value. Oh my god, it gave me Dimension Door! Holy shit, I'm being totally rewarded for my greedy play. Whatever. Do I like HOM5? Yeah, it's the best game. Mr. Equilibrium. HOM5 is the best of the series. Oh, I see. Bit of the old knowledge. It is official. Whew. I can't believe I got Dimension Door. It finally wants you to be overpowered. I guess I'll just get everything, even though the zombies are slow as all crap.
Well, I'm not regretting that air magic now. Why is, it, why is he losing so many vampire laws? Does he not want to keep them alive or something? What's the matter with you? Yeah, you can keep the skeletons. I want to get the upgraded um, finger magic. Easier said than done, though. Oh, you got Dimension Door a second time. We got Meteor Strike. Uh, well, I call it Meteor Strike, don't I? Meteor Shower. Armageddon. Armageddon could be good under certain circumstances if I could get some uh, Black Dragons. When it, you know, sometimes you, you spend all these levels trying to get Dimension Door. It never, never comes up. And then you get it twice. I'm going to try to even his stats out a bit, I think. To keep these effective troops in your service, you must continue to pay them. No! Remove them all. I'll do it myself. Oh, this is game over. I mentioned door, that's it. We've won. Your money has been going to good use. Troops arrive as promised. Not many, but proof enough that scouts are being caught, killed and turned into skeletons to fight against the people they once served. Such delicious irony. Oh, thank you for those skeletons. Where did they go? Into one of the bases or into my army? Because they got converted if they went into my army. Sandra's a happy chappy, isn't he? Pretty sure I couldn't cast it a fourth time. Nah, but you can cast it three times at advance. It was my favourite spells and passives in Warcraft 3. Good question. War Stomp, probably one of the most fun spells in all eternity. Parasite's a really cool spell, but you only get it in like the campaign. What about you, uh, passives? Uh, Brilliance Aura, it's very good. It just gives you more flexibility with casters, because they normally have quite garbage mana regeneration, even when you upgrade them. You've always got to keep that stuff into it. I like um, Carapace as well, that's pretty cool. But it's true that... Oh! Hello. GG. We just need earth magic and then that's pretty much it. Like, that's good enough. Cleave. Oh, yep. Yeah. Cleave. Cleave. Much, much hype. Much wow. Hmm. Resources are too scarce. Why you no trade? Hey, Earth Elementals. That's a solid one as well. He is set. We are in a really good, uh, good place with Sandro. Yeah, and everything's done in this territory, so let's move on, I guess. So he's got 87 out of 87 with basic intelligence. That'll increase over and over and over. I could actually just... Nah. 
Oh, hang on a second. Yes, I can. Aha! I'm going to do the top left part of the map now. They wish to join you. This is why I just want to play with Sandra. Why do I want to play with anyone else? Okay. Of course, we've got to go to the tomb. Always worth it. Every time. Oh, I wanted to get my luck. I'm going to do it now. Regardless. Sandro's back door in right now. Hmm, we ain't got much mana now. You wait until that intelligence builds up. Oh man, this is nice. This is nice. I mean, I haven't had to play with... I haven't got to play with Dimension Door in absolutely ages. Yages. Oh my god. Okay, right, this is the danger. Do we want diplomacy as an undead player, though? I guess. This is pretty insane. Now this leaves that, m that nervous moment where there's only one ability I want, and that's Earth Magic. And we've got to get Earth Magic no matter what. Jesus, look at this base. You just buy their units. Got a water walk. Why diplomacy? Diplomacy's oh look at that. Sounds. It's a bit above my pay grade. Luckily I'm unlikely to get caught. Oh no. Diplomacy is crazy overpowered in certain circumstances. Like if you can like grab some forces that you shouldn't be able to. Especially if you get them for free. I knew there would be a base, just couldn't quite reach it. Yeah, I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to win it. Because those armies are strong. I lost a lot in the first one. Just got to suck it up. I'm in a bit of a pickle. So i got to be careful here because the computer can just come and kill me. I need a well. Ah, oh, there's one. Cleave, please. So we're just looking around, basically. And you know the best thing about this? There's no smog. The only downside is, is because there's undead at all, if I lose one of my bases and it's got smog, then I'm going to have my own territory get... a territory get wrecked. But generally speaking, it's good. Just wanted to say, yesterday evening you played with the creator of Warcraft Royal and he released the newest version of his map and spoilers for the next patch. He's going to nerf BM a bit. Oh, good to know, Melon. He needs it. That dim dare blade master. You can't really nerf anything too much, though. Because that map is... You know, you can't... How do you balance something like that? You can try to keep things afloat, but... By its very, um... I don't know, definition, Battle Royale is never going to be truly fair or balanced. I love you, Sandra.
you got like 300 plus crits. Yeah, I got attacked by like 297 crits and 298 and stuff like that. Against the Blade Master. That was rough. I don't know how many units that guy's got. Let's give it a save. He might just kill me next time. Ah, not too bad. I should probably just build up some units in my base, because he's... Oh no, I could just b take their own units, couldn't I? Use them against them. Once again, trouble has come your way. One of the Blasted Knights made a suicide attack last night. He and the few men who have followed him are dead, but it will cost much to replace what they burned to the ground. May way, it may be wise to further fortify the border, but you are not sure the idiots you place there will be any more effective than the last group. Sandro. Just not appreciating his employees. Nah. Not enough mana. Oh, you took it back, did you? Yay! I got a bit of gold to spend. Better not be a plague. Just gonna use their forces against them. You won't be able to catch me. You won't be able to catch this. This won't do much for my morale, but... Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of the skeletons, even. Ah. That's what I was after. I thought there might be something that can uh, boost me in some way. Oh, Sandro. You and your dimension door. Guess the bad news is it means the computer might be able to get dimension door at some point. If I'm allowed to get it within this campaign. I got like 14... 148,000 gold, but I'm just using their units against them. And I'm going to be da dancing back and forth. I like Dimension Door, at least in a single player aspect, because I can manipulate a lot. It makes me sort of like use my brain a bit more as to how I want to maneuver and strategize and attack. Not enough mana. It's not mana anyway. Do -do -do. Anti-magic. It's got anti-magic. Bet the computer's having fun with this. Me just going around, stealing everything. Poor Sandro, look at your stats. Now I think the Godfather meme is even more suitable. Look how they massacred my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. There's a lot in this base. But I triumph. What? Oh, I just had to take this base. Huh. Okay. I didn't even pay attention to the thing. I just thought I had to kill them all. Close enough. I got everything I needed, I think. <laughs> 